Hey guys, welcome back to Art with Miss Mullins. Today we're going to talk about weavings. The ancient process of weavings has been around for thousands of years. It's used to make things like cloth, baskets, and even trendy wall hangings that are popular right now. A weaving is made up of two main parts, the warp and the weft. The warp stands vertically or up and down. The weft weaves through the warp horizontally or side to side. Today we're going to make a weaving out of paper and use our friend the snake to help us remember the pattern over, under, over, under. Let's get started. Let's make art together with Miss Mullins today. Here's what we're going to need to get started. You're going to need two pieces of paper, some crayons, a pencil, and some scissors. So I'm gonna start with my green paper first and have it facing horizontally. This is gonna be my grass. I'm gonna take my scissors and starting at one end, I'm gonna cut a thin strip, maybe about an inch thick. And I'm gonna leave a gap at the end about an inch thick as well. I'm going to do that six more times. When I'm done, I should have eight. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Once I've got eight strips cut out, remember, they should all still be attached to one another. I'm gonna cut the ends so that it looks like grass. I'm gonna cut one side and the other, just like a V. I'm gonna do that at the top of each strip. Make sure to keep the grass as long as possible and then set it aside. Now I'm gonna grab my other paper. This is what I'm gonna use for my snakes. I'm gonna turn it portrait orientation and this time I'm gonna cut three long strips, cut all the way to the end. Remember, keep them about an inch thick. Now that you have your strips, we need to make these look a bit more like snakes. So I'm gonna take my scissors, and again, just like I did with my grass, I'm gonna cut a V shape on one side. And on the other side, I'm gonna cut a curved line. Remember, try to keep your snake as long as possible. Do this on all three strips. Next, I'm gonna lay out my snakes. Notice how I have two going one direction and one going the opposite. Make sure you set yours up like this. Now I'm gonna grab a crayon and I'm gonna draw some faces on my snakes. Once I've got faces on them, I'm gonna grab some more colors and start designing patterns. Remember, a pattern is a repeated line, shape, or color, or a combination of these elements. Once my snakes have all their patterns on them, I'm gonna grab my grass. I'm gonna start by pulling my first blade of grass down. My little snake wants to slither through the grass. So he's gonna start by going under and then he's gonna go over. That means the next one's gonna be under and then over. Under.
Now our little snake has slithered through the grass. Let's check and make sure that he slithered correctly. Under, over, under, over, under, over, under, oak. Looks great. So my next snake is gonna do the opposite of what my first snake did. So this first snake, his head is poking out above the grass. So we're gonna start by making her go under instead of over. Make sure to pull your snake down so it's a nice snug weaving. I'm gonna start with my next snake now. Under, over, under, over, under, over, under, over. And looky there, we have snakes slithering in the grass. Once you're done and you're happy with your work and it looks like you don't have any mistakes, you can go ahead and write your name on the back. To keep my weaving secure, I'm gonna grab some tape and tape together my blades of grass. If you see a mistake, don't tape down your blades of grass yet. Go back and try again. Weaving can be difficult and it takes a while to get used to. So be patient with yourself. It's a new thing to learn. And here you have it. We have some snakes slithering through the grass. I hope you enjoyed making this project with me and I will see you next time. Bye guys.